It's early fall and one of the most nostalgic hunts that there is for me is grouse hunting. It's something that I did with my dad every year growing up and we just finished an amazing hunt. We've got some rough grouse ready to go and we are making a chipotle rough grouse sandwich. All right, so this is a really simple sandwich. And what we're doing is we've got two grouse breasts right here. We've got the rest of the bird sitting aside for another recipe. This is going to go together super easy. So we have our bread that's going on the bottom. We've got a chipotle aioli, which is just a chipotle mayonnaise that we're gonna show you how to make. We've got a fried chicken breast that's going on top of that with some slaw and another piece of bread on top of that. And it's going to be this amazing, juicy fried chicken sandwich. All right, so the first step is we need to get these breasts a little bit larger to fit into our sandwich good. So we just need to take a meat mallet and pound them out so they're nice and flat. You'll see now from this to this, you get really good coverage on your sandwich with something that's got a little larger volume to it. Now that these things are flat, we're taking them both and putting them into a bag and soaking them with a little bit of hot sauce. And what that's gonna do is give us some sort of liquid for our flour coating to adhere to. And it adds a nice little spice to it. Coating goes in. Close the bag and shake them up. You just want to make sure that everything's coated all around. When you pull it out of the bag, you've got a nice, dry looking piece of meat. As the oil heats up, I need to make my chipotle aioli now. And again, all it is is really a chipotle mayonnaise. You can take mayonnaise and mix chipotle into it, but we're going to mix it from scratch. And all it is is one egg, some chipotle peppers, a little bit of lemon juice, and a bunch of oil. And we just whisk it up until it gets thick. Squeeze just a shot into there. Start whisking everything up real fast and add oil slowly as you keep on whisking, whisking it. And all this is going to do is just emulsify everything and turn it into a thick mayonnaise. Okay, so that's looking perfect. So it might take a few minutes for you to get it to the consistency that you want, but just think thick like mayonnaise and just keep on whisking in oil if it's not getting quite thick enough yet. The more oil you add, the thicker it's gonna get. All right, aioli is done, slaw is going down right now. And all we need is a little bit of cabbage. You can use the green cabbage or we can use the purple stuff, stuff like we've got here. And we just need to cut off a little bit. And the technique here is to shave it all just super thin. So we're doing cabbage, red onion, and we've got um, some salt, pepper, and some apple cider vinegar that's going to go in the bag at the same time. Shake it all up and it's pretty well ready to go. Cabbage and onion are in. Now all we have to do is add some acid in there, which is some apple cider vinegar, some salt and some pepper, and just scrunch it up and mix it all up in that bag. All right, everything's in the bag. Zip it up and just mess around with it a little bit. We wanna make sure that all of that cabbage and onion get incorporated and that every little piece is getting soaked in our apple cider vinegar mix. Now we're just gonna let it sit for a few minutes while we fry our chicken. All right, so most exciting part here, our oil is hot. This is just canola oil sitting in a cast iron pan. We've got around 350 degrees and our chicken is coated and ready to hop in. Woo wee, it's looking good. Oh, mammy. I'm letting these things cook until they're just golden brown and then taking them off and letting them drip for just a couple minutes and our sandwich can start getting assembled right now. Okay, so we've got a beautiful loaf of bread. We're gonna go like a nice thick cut on these. All right, so this is how we assemble this thing. We've got our bread. We're getting that nice aioli spread on the bottom. So our beautiful, freshly harvested organic chunk of rough grouse. And as that is still nice and hot from the fryer, we're going to add this beautiful piece of Havarti cheese. There's a little bit of spicy jalapeno in there. And here is that zippy little feature that deserves to go on top is our cabbage slaw. We're just gonna dress that. If you're feeling so inclined, add a little bit of cilantro on top, just to add a little bit of veg. And the finishing touches is that just going straight down on top. There it is. Look at that. We've got our rough grouse and you can see it's this like beautiful white clean meat. It's super juicy after being fried. This is an amazing way in the wilderness to cook a piece of rough grouse. For more information on this recipe, check out our blog at huntfishmanitoba.com. It's ridiculous. So good.